What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more The Walking Dead. We are here with the beginning of season three. Um, hope you guys are ready. We got a new background going. We are ready to go. Last season, we lost some good characters. We lost Dale. We lost um, Shane. No matter how much I have hated him. <laughs> It's still a loss to the show, in my opinion, because the show needed that balance. You have to see. I want to know what happened to Andrea. She obviously got saved um, by a mysterious person that we don't know. Somebody with a sword and two walkers as pets, it seemed. Um, they all met up at the end, and then Rick laid down the law, his dictatorship. <laughs> so I'm wondering if this is a turn for his character going in a direction um that i'm not going to like so i'm definitely looking forward to see what they're going to do this season as i said i'm not going to be doing these elaborate intros anymore because you guys don't watch them anyways <laughs> so if you do end up watching this intro we're gonna aim for 20 likes on this one if you watch it if you're going to just leave a like before you go and watch the episode of course and then Meet me back here for the review. As always, man, let's go jump into it to see what they have in store for us for Season 3. And I'll see you guys. Another thing, another thing, if you watch if you watch this intro, I'm not going to be uploading highlights anymore. A lot of people, a um, couple of people were complaining. They were saying they can't watch the video on the Google Drive. Um... So the thing about it is this, I do not want to have to upload the full episode to, um, to bit shoot and also highlights. That's way too much. That's, that's way too much. So I was doing highlights because, um, because a lot of people, they don't like watching the whole full episode over again. Right. So they prefer highlights. That's why I was doing highlights, right? Like 20. 20 25 minutes of highlights right um so i don't know you know i'm weighing my options here if i should do if i should still do highlights because the highlights do take a lot of time to render out um so i don't know yet if if i feel like it i might do it but for now i'm going to be doing the full reactions are going to go up on bitchu just like the google drive okay so um, thank you guys so much for tuning in because when they can't access it, if there's limited amount of plays on Google Drive, right? Because pretty much everything is on the Google Drive. So a lot of times you can't really watch it there. That's why I give you guys a second option to watch it on BitChute, a little less quality, whatever the situation is. So let's go watch this episode, man. Season three, episode one is here. Let's go get it. Meet me back here for the review. Um, sorry guys um let me take a breather because this is like the third time at attempting to do this review today because this freaking program is getting on my nerves um that i'm recording with i don't know why it's acting up because it just got an update and i don't know why it's acting up right now but anyways let's get into this third time's the charm Let's do this, okay? So, this episode introduced the character that saved Andrea. Um, minor details, minor details. Um, Deny, one of my favorite actresses of recent. Love her. Um, didn't know she was on the show. You know what I'm saying? Because I never checked out her history or anything like that. I've just loved her since I saw her in Black Panther. Um, so great actress man great actress um I'm, I'm i think i'm gonna enjoy watching her on this show hopefully she's you know she stays for a for a good while um because if she does i'm guessing this is where she gets her fame from because this was way before black panther came out so um also rick and 
Rick and Lori. What is going on with their relationship? I have no clue. I have no clue. There's a plot hole there. I need to know what's going on. What happened between end of last season to to this episode? Like, what happened? There's a plot hole there that we're not understanding. Hopefully, they do explain it ongoing in the season so we're not left in the dark as to why they're at odds because she's even saying that Carl hates her, which is not something we've ever seen in the series. So that's kind of odd. Um, I love the fact that Carl has step up to be more of a, you know, young man, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to see guns in kids' hands, but in this show, I think it's, um, kind of necessary. Um, not too young though, but I mean, he wasn't that old. How old was he last season? I don't know. They don't really talk about age in the show that much. You just kind of have to assume, um, I can understand him having a crush on Maggie's sister. Um, not going to agree with her having a crush on him because if they're both teenagers, then that kind of makes sense. But I don't think Carl's a teenager yet. Or maybe I'm just judging him based on his height, but that's just how it is. If she is looking at him like that, um, I hope that it's age appropriate because at the same time, I know it's end of the world scenario, whatever, whatever, but you still don't see... You know what I'm saying? Carol trying to sleep with Carl. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I hopefully it's age appropriate and we can roll with it. Anyways, we got um um a situation that's taking place. Man, that, that final scene was gruesome. Um, I'm guessing those are some guys that are that has been down there. I don't know if they're starving or whatever the situation is, but I guess we're gonna get introduced to some even even more characters in this season um from there man rick cut that leg off with no hesitation right and it was gruesome it was a gruesome scene and i don't know what to say anymore when <laughs> i don't know what it say what what to say anymore when it comes on to what's taking place uh, um down there because it's good that they found a place, and I don't think they should rest until they got what they want, supplies. Um, Lori's worried about giving birth to a monster, basically. Um, she's worried about herself. She's worried about everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's, it's a common trait for pregnant women. It is. Um, you know, but this is a different type of fear that she's having, you know? And when it comes on to um the the situation that's going on with 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 Andrea like I'm wondering if she just have hopefully it's just something common that can be cured and they just can't find any medicine for it hopefully it's not something terminal that she's developed like cancer or something like that because that would be tragic um but I'm glad that um Denai's character is taking care of her I love her character already she looks badass so I'm definitely for that. Um, so I'm glad that they're, you know, getting some rest. And I know prison is not the ideal place you would want to be. But at this point in time, what choice do you have? You know, you really don't have a choice. You just got to go with the punches at this point, wherever, whenever. Right. So technically, you know, certain things that we that we want to talk about and do. You know, it's the the season starts out very, very cool, very cool, very cool, very subtle episode with with always with a surprise at the end. Um, typical of from what I've noticed about The Walking Dead so far. So this this episode was very was very good. It was shot very well. You can really feel the tension between Rick and Lori. Like I said, they have great chemistry on screen. All these characters really have great chemistry. I wish they would give T-Dog some more screen time. His character is not totally um, super important or anything to the plot. But still, man, you know what I'm saying? Like For a support character to last this long in a series and you still don't get a... A really good scene with him like other than the scene that he had with with the dude on the rooftop 
we haven't really seen him get any shine since then, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? And for him to be a part of the main cast and still really did... He had basically zero screen time, if you want to say that, like, on last season. Barely saw him. Barely saw him. We knew he was there, but you barely saw him. He got a couple of lines here and there. But other than that, we haven't really seen him out. Hopefully, he gets some more screen time this season. Um, you know, I'm rooting for everybody because I want to see everybody shine right now that's belonging to the main cast of the show. So, I'm looking forward to that. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. That's my review of episode one. It was very shocking at the end there. Very gruesome. You, you know, you saw my reaction, man. That I I don't like to see stuff like that on screen. But it's it's riveting. It's it's necessary for this show, and I'm all for it. I might turn away. It's because stuff like that it makes my skin crawl, so I can't look at it for long. But I know I have to see it. <laughs> I know I have to see it. So it's awesome, guys. It's awesome. This show is really good, right? It, um, really good, and um, I'm looking forward to more. I, I need to check to see how many episodes in this season. I think this season is longer than the second one. Um, but definitely, man, great stuff, great stuff. The Walking Dead Season 3 is here, and I'm all for it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to subscribe if you're new. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this episode. And also, leave a like if you have not done so already. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys later. Peace.